this is the California kid, and I was uh, and after seeing how much support you guys have shown us on the uh, the first rise royalty match, otherwise known as um, AKA the greatest trampoline match ever. Um, I decided to go and come back out here to the old DHW arena and pretty much give you show you guys the um, how it was done and uh, kind of explain since we never really took any footage of how exactly we were able to make that um, how exactly we were able to make the trampoline. There have been a lot of questions you guys have asked and I couldn't answer them all, so I decided to make this video to kind of answer a few, you know, just to help you guys out a bit, um, understand what happened that day. And uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go to that right now. We're gonna take a look around, as you can see. This is the DHW arena. Um, the this is the back part of it. Uh, the place where we used to have the old ground matches is off to the side, which we'll get there. We'll get there right soon. But this is the site of Rise to Royalty One. This is the original side of it, and there you have it. Um, right over there, this right here is the uh, the trampoline that was used. Um, this is the tra this is the small tramp that we used to catch us, and that was located on the um, on the opposite side of the um, of the zone over there where where Caleb Cross and a lot of people went off. I think Don Danger um, actually tornado DDT'd um, J D Stacks off to the right over there um, as you can see in plain sight here uh, we're just going to come down and take a look that area right over there is where it took place the trampoline of course was set right here we also shot uh, an episode of Shock TV out here um, as you see that's the stage area and this is where T3 came out into the talk show broadcast and this is uh, this is where we uh, did a lot of the shoots um, this, were, um, this is the DHW stage where during the during the old early days of ACW and DHW, um, this is the this is where everybody kind of went off. Um, every match, somebody was going off the edge of this thing right here. We're gonna move over here to the stairway. We used to have a ramp built here. Here goes remnants of the wood that had the ramp. All the carpeting had been has been removed from the arena. We don't even use this place anymore, hardly. Um, we don't even use this arena right now. The weeds and everything have grown here, and um, it's very important to understand that uh, this is this is where we used to do it. This is where all the magic used to happen, right out here. As you can see, everything's still intact here. I mean, we could idealistically uh, set this whole setup back up again. Uh, this is the bat, the Louisville Slugger that was used in the, um, in the matches. Um, a lot of it, this was used in the rise to royalty. I think Don Danger hit somebody with it. Oh no, this is the one that JD Stacks took and struck him right over the head. Okay, this is uh, one of the this is one of the original ladders used to match. This is the fold ladder, and um, this ladder really was easy to set up for very destructive stuff. I mean, man, it can fold any number of ways.
Okay, well, here are some of the weapons that we would use. Um, just standard household items, and they really work out really well. Um, mostly, um, you know, kind of curtain hangers, which can um, extend and detract, and retract and extend. And they have very convincing edges, as you can see, very, very solid stuff. The, the metal on the end, look at that. That that's just brutal, you know. And look, see you can switch it out into a doubled weapon and you know it's a pity we've never we haven't used these yet to match but this is the kind of stuff we used in rise to royalty now most of the kendo sticks that we used were just totally obliterated as you saw in the video but these are still just great weapons to use if you guys are looking to try to, to try to do a match like that find common good solid stick thick items that cut that make a loud sound when you hit somebody the springs make a noise and also this right here this is the classic pc pipe that was used in a lot of the earlier matches that you can see in some of our older videos great weapon for long range striking and very durable very light by the way i might mention and very very yeah you can really get really showy with it i, I love that i love the pc pipe it's it's one of the greatest weapons in the history of DHW, and ACW for that matter. It's been used in a lot of matches, but mostly DHW matches. And these, these are just, this is a, just a great weapon. It makes a lot of noise. It, it really is like a, a pole. Alright, let's talk about Rise to Royalty, the first match. Um, here I'm going to try to answer as many questions as possible. Um, first off, I'd like to mention that when we... We actually had the day before, so we had purchased the trampoline for this match. It was a very special octagonal trampoline. Um, I purchased it, and um, just like um, me, um, Cody Caresser and Brandon Lynch were um, trucked it on over to the DHW Arena for this special occasion. And here, go, here goes the oh, here goes Don Danger's famous line. You guys love that. Welcome to the Danger Zone, Welcome to bitch. The Danger Zone bitch. Everybody remembers that. There comes T3 making his entrance as he normally does. And yeah, this was a great match. And um, that night, um, the night before, me and me and uh, Cody were out there. And we were we were just having. It was cold, freezing, ice cold, and we were really struggling to get this to get that trampoline built. It was it was totally dismantled when we had to put it together. And there goes Cody right there. And yeah, this is the opening salute of Rise to Royalty. We've done it every Rise to Royalty. It is a it is it is a salute. It is a it is a royal salute to to, to the bravery of the men stepping into a match like this and they lock up. This this was it was my idea to um have that in the match. It, it was sort of like, you know, I felt that it would just be another ladder match if it were done that way. There goes Caleb with that beautiful um enziguri in the back of the head and there goes that Mike Cross. Now these chops were nasty. Caleb Cross had just arrived from Rockdale. He he called me. He had watched a lot of our earlier matches and he called me and he said and he just he just had to be a part of this. So the he, he happened to come down with his friend JD Stacks and uh, it was just an amazing experience to add him to the roster. And it was Don and this was brilliant right here. Watch T3 here as he catches Don Ninja. Oh right there. I love that part. Yeah, Caleb with that great. Now Caleb, as many you know, took a real beating. That there was a real punch. And this right here, oh God, he got teabagged and nutted at the same time. There goes that drop kick to Don. Danger was flying up onto the stage. Yes, this this part did hurt. Pike pushes them both off and ouch. Yes, yes indeed. They landed on the chairs. Ooh, power bomb right to the thing there. This was real. Look at that. That shot. I know y'all talk about that. That was a real shot. And this. Oh, I think Caleb. This is as real as it gets. I mean, when you watch this match, everything you see pretty much is real. T3 really did hit the brick wall, and he's slightly cut from that, too. He's got kind of a skin gash because he hit the bricks. And this is no joke. And this shot right here, that that was a cane shot. Pike's back had a red wep over it. I kid you not. This is the re this is as real as, as, as trampoline wrestling gets. And to me, it wasn't about acrobatics. It was more or less, this was about the reality. Look at these shots right here. Don Danger. I know y'all have watched this video a million times over and you've heard the sounds. Well, I tell you, th those sounds are very real. And that really did hurt Mike Cross. This, perhaps, I thought was mm, one of the most painful moves in the entire match, really. 
because he had to get him right in the kidneys. Look at that DDT. All this was real. The Happy Stool. The first introduction to Happy Stool. There you go. Yes, that was a real Fisher Price Happy Stool. And the Pike is the only person who really. Who, th that weapon was made for him. Like, that was a real shot to the head. Pike will continue to really inflict damage. This hurt. Oh, yes. That was that was Caleb. Caleb really took a beating, like I said. And there goes the pikey chair stomp, as many know it. And yes, he really did stomp his head here. Yeah, that, that, all, everything is as real as you want it to be, ladies and gentlemen. Because I kid you not, these these men really hurt themselves to put this match on. It was the trampoline in the corner I talked about earlier. And look at that suplex around the stage. Yes. At the time, Pike was the most brutal person in this match when you really think about it. I mean, that black chair, that's how he got the reputation for having used the black chair. Caleb, like I said, there goes another another, another down for Caleb. And yes, Caleb did have to take T3C walk. And, and that was this real too. This is as real as it gets. Caleb's ankles were actually sprained really badly. Really, really badly. Caleb has suffered a lot of cracked bones in these matches as well. Look at that. Oh, yes, that was a real shot. This is, I mean, it was it, it was just all in the glory of the pain. I mean, for a match this big, it's it just, it's all about, it, it, nobody really cares that they get hurt. And yes, Don Danger, and coming up right here is the most devastating thing that ever happened on the channel. Oh, right there. That was the pikey chair throw. Otherwise known as the FYA, and and Pike, that Caleb was really busted open, and uh, he always told me he was gonna get Pike back for that. I mean, even the dental damage was extreme. I mean, literally, it was it, it was taken care of. Um, I'd say don't try this. Oh, there was the chaotic syndrome, and. Uh, this is I mean, JD had to come in because Caleb was so badly injured. We had to bring KD, JD to sub in for him. JD stacks. He hasn't. Caleb finally comes back in, which made it six men in the match. Look at this. Ooh, right there. This was just great stuff. These two guys came from Rockdale. Um, that was at the time the Fed had the uh, the PWE and, and the Pure Wrestling Fed. Um, Rockdale, the RBW. At the time, they were known as RBW, and they actually had an RB. They actually had an RBW title match there at um, Rise to Royalty. If you get a chance, check that out. Um, Caleb, they were awesome. I mean, what can you say? It was just a great time to be alive in backyard wrestling for this match. Ooh, yes, that was a real kick to the face on T3. And a lot of, I'm sure, a lot of the guys suffered neck inflammations. There goes the desk. That that, that is an Xbox where we played the music onto the monitor. And we did have people to do that for us. This was also one of the parts you guys really liked. Yes, that was all Cody Caresser. He's a brilliant man, and he's he's always been brilliant. If you watch his matches now, they're even more awesome. Now, I'd like to say something about all the oh my gods in this video. Uh, I couldn't help it. It was the greatest trampoline match of all time. What else could you say to the spots in this match? And you'll, as you'll see right here, yes, this was real. T3 could have died. It could have skewered him right here. Don throws the cane and shink <laughs> just by an inch. And this is, and arguably, yes, this is the most dangerous and brutal match we've ever put on on the channel. More dangerous than any of the other Rise Royalties. More dangerous than any of the other brutal hardcore matches we've done. And again, like I said, I apologize for all the oh my gods in this video. For those of you who were just severely annoyed, but just bear with me, I couldn't help myself. Um, I would suggest going and watching the entire full match. It's worth a watch. It, it's, this is, and, and I thank you all for making this the greatest trampoline match of all time. Again, not all about acrobatics, not about, not about the flips and everything. It's all about the reality and the heart and spirit. And um, I'd like to thank you all for watching this. And do watch Rise to Royalty 2. Watch Rise to Royalty 3. It's on the BWE account. Uh, it's, it, they're all equally brutal. And I hope this has been sort of insight to how we do things.